Hi guys, Techman here. I've received a number of questions from you, both on YouTube and Twitter, regarding the Jackery Explorer 500. In case you haven't been following along, I reviewed the Explorer 500 from Jackery after cycling it for a whole month. So in today's video, I'm going to answer some of the most common questions I've been asked regarding Jackery and the Explorer 500. A link to my review is in the description of this video, if you haven't watched it already. So let's get cracking. It's go time. The Explorer 500 is still working as expected. I initially cycled it for a month and it worked as intended and it still continues to work till today. I'll keep you informed if this changes or if I notice any change in performance. One thing I like about Jackery is that their products work straight out the box. A lot of people choose Jackery for their portable power needs as their units do exactly what it says on the tin. Very funny. <laughs> Sometimes people just want a Norfus portable power station from a reputable manufacturer with a track record of providing good customer service. Now I've read a lot of reviews on the internet and judging from the feedback and customer service experiences I've come across, it seems pretty obvious that a lot of people turn to Jackery when they decide to purchase a new portable power station. Or at the very least, Jackery is a name high up on their list. Now Jackery have been in the market since 2012 and built a reputation for good portable power stations. Yes, there are some customers who may have not found it easy to resolve their issues. We get that with every manufacturer and arguably with every product in the market. We also get some units that pass the quality control processes but develop a fault during storage or shipping or within a few weeks of use. But by and large, from reading and researching customer satisfaction, it seems Jackery do a good job and certainly better than most of their competitors. Remember, Jackery have been developing portable power stations since 2012, so they have a good understanding of the market and have grown and enhanced their products as technology has evolved. There is certainly room for improvement, and I alluded to that in my review of the Explorer 500, and I hope Jackery catch up with the rest of the pack in terms of features, but so far, I'm pleased with the overall experience from Jackery. This opinion may change if their products start to fail or customer service takes a turn for the worse, and I have no hesitation in crossing a manufacturer off my recommendations list. But as things stand, they seem to have the right balance between good portable power stations and good customer service. There is a workaround to this issue which I touch upon in my review, and that is to use a USB-C car charger adapter via the 12V DC outlet. I don't think I need to make a separate video on this workaround, but I may do so, so you don't have to watch the whole review or scroll the video to find what you're looking for. Let me know in the comment section below if that helps. Jackery portable power stations and solar panels are available to purchase on their website and on their Amazon pages. This all depends on your location. So check the Jackery website and be sure to select the appropriate store based on your region. Here in the UK, the Jackery website will redirect you to Amazon UK in order to complete your purchase. They have a storefront on Amazon UK. Remember, Jackery are relatively new to the UK, so I don't think they have an affiliation with any of the UK high street stores. In the US, Jackery portable power stations are now available to purchase from Harbour Freight. I would like to see the same here in the UK and the EU. It would be great if Jackery portable power stations were available at large retailers across Europe. In fact, every country that Jackery operates in. Finally, I have a couple of questions for you. Was I too harsh on Jackery in my review? Perhaps with the introduction of lithium ion phosphate cells in portable power stations and recent rise in portable power stations and surge in new features, I may have been a bit harsh on Jackery in my review. I'd like to be honest and transparent in my reviews and I'd like to think that's exactly what I've been. I also voiced the drawbacks of the Explorer 500 and forwarded my recommendations to Jackery. As the unit does work, some may say I have been a bit harsh. But what do you think? After all, I am human and certainly not infallible. Have I been too harsh or was it a balanced review? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. My final question is, are you looking to purchase a Jackery portable power station this winter? or summer if you're living in the southern hemisphere. If you are, I'd recommend you wait for one of Jackery's flash sales. I admit Jackery are a bit pricey, and as I previously advised, I would personally wait for their sales before purchasing one of their products. 
Speaking of sales and the current shopping craze, Chakri are providing various discounts on their website and respective Amazon stores. So do check out your local stores and pocket any discount if you are looking to purchase one of their power stations or bundles. It's all on the screen in front of you and also links will be provided in the description below. Remember, I do not have any affiliate links or make any money from your purchase. I am not brand loyal for financial gains. My recommendations are based on good products coupled with good customer service, no strings attached. You know what I mean. And I'm free to unrecommend a manufacturer or one of their products if they do not meet my expectations. Right guys, as always, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.